Hello, my dear teacher of country. Welcome back to our channel CK24. Today, again, we start this session for science subject. Our questions are multiple choice questions. Right? That is my first fourth lecture. It will help you in the state examination 2024. And it is also for further use. So, let's get start. First question on your screen. <coughs> Which of the following vitamins acts as a hormone? A. Vitamin E. B. Vitamin D. Vitamin C. Vitamin B. What will be the answer? You can see. Vitamin D. Act as hormone. Next question on your screen. You can see. Efficiency of vitamin acts causes bleeding of guns. This vitamin is essential for absorption of mineral Y and is found in food Z. Identify X, Y and Z. Option we have X vitamin, D e, calcium, green leaf vegetable. Option B, X vitamin, A, Y phosphorus, Z poultry product. Option C, vitam, X vitamin D, Y calcium, Z milk product, D. Option X vitamin C, Y iron, Z citrus fruit. So, what would be the answer? T is the appropriate answer of this question. X vitamin C, Y iron, Z citrus fruit. Next question on your screen, you can see question number 3, assertion. A. Lions do not eat grass. Reason. Many animals cannot digest cellulose. Choose the correct option. Option A, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. B, both A and R are true but R is the incorrect explanation of A. C, A is true but R is false. D, A is false but R is true. So, let's see what is the answer. Option A is the correct answer of this question. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Next question on your screen, you can see assertion. Cellulose rich food substances are good source of roughage for human beings. Reason. Cellulose get absorbed and convert into fibers during digestion. R2. Reason 2. T. Cellulose digesting bacteria convert cellulose into fibers. Two is the correct option. Option B is A. A is true and R1 is correct. Explanation of A. B. A is true. And R2 is correct explanation of for A. C A is false and R1 is true. D A is false and R2 is true. So what would be the answer of this question? A. A is true and R1 is correct explanation of A. Next question on your screen you can see. Question 5. Read the following statements. A. Gases are soluble in liquids as well as in solids. <coughs> B. Gases which form iron in the solvent are soluble in that solvent. C. Gases which can be liquefied easily are more soluble in water than the other gases which are not liquefied easily. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? So, first option we have A and B, B, B and C, C, only A, B, all of the days. So, what is the answer? Let's see. B and C is the correct statement. Next question on your screen, you can see. Question 6. Consider the following statement. A. The amount of heat required to change 1 kg solid into liquid at atmospheric temperature, sorry, atmospheric pressure and at its melting point is called the Latin heat of fusion. B. The phenomenon of change of liquid into vapors at any temperature below its boiling point called sublimation. C. The process of conversion of liquid into its vapor is called boiling. D. The process of converting solid into gaseous state is called evaporation. Which of the above statements given is or correct? Option we have D. A and C is the correct option. You can see. A. The amount of heat required to change the one solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure and its at melting point is called the Latin heat of fusion. C. The Process of conversion of liquid into its vapor is called boiling. Next question on your screen. First of all, you see the option, right? 
we have a four option a b c d next question on which you can see question number 7 <coughs> consider the following statements and choose the correct option a no change in volume occurs on dissolving sugar in water b sugar particles go into the empty spaces present in the particles of water now the option we have you can see a both statements a and b are false b statement a is correct but statement b is false c statement b is correct but statement a is false d both statement are correct let's see what will be the answer d is the appropriate answer of this question both statements a and b are correct next question on your screen question number 8 which of the following is or are true when we change into current a the change cannot be reversed b it changes test c its state is changed from liquid to semi solid choose the correct option from below we have a only a b a and b c b and c d all of the all of this such type of question will be so you can go through it and apply your knowledge and give the answer what would be the answer of this question let's see all of this when it changes into curd it is cannot reverse it changes its state test its state is changed from liquid to semi solid next question on your screen you can see question number 9 match the following lists list 1 and list 2 in list 1 process and list 2 change a evaporation 1 liquid into gas b sublimation 2 gas into liquid c freezing solid into gas d melting solid into liquid and keep liquid into solid what would be the option you can see a a b c d 2 3 3 4 b 1 3 5 4 p 4 3 2 1 d 5 3 1 2 so you can choose the correct option and get what would be the answer of this question let's see e is the correct answer where a a1 b3 c5 and d4 this is the correct <coughs> next question on your screen question number 10 consider the following statements latin means hidden b the amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of a solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as the latent heat of fusion. C. Water vapor at 273 Kelvin, that is 100 degree centigrade, have more energy than water at the same temperature. We have three options. Which of the above statement is uh, or are correct? Let's see the option. Only A, B, A and B, C, B and C, D. All of these. Let's see what would be the answer of this question. All of these are correct. This statement, this property contained by a latent heat. Now, uh, that's it for today, my dear future of country. It is very useful for CTEC math and science future of country. You must. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you will take the benefits and complete your examination. Thank you all of you for watching my video. In next video, I will discuss more questions.